If you want to make blob operas like this, I'll show you how. So a few things that you're going to need is you're going to need FL Studio, a program called Loop MIDI, and a MIDI file. The reason why you need the Loop MIDI application is because uh, the Jester Musician's Toy Box video, uh, where he used one, made, made the One Winged Angel, uh, he actually um, stated in, in the comment here uh, that he had Reaper output to a virtual MIDI. You can use Reaper 2 if you want. I use FL Studio just because I'm more familiar with it. Um, but essentially what it's going to do is it's going to create a port, a virtual MIDI port. These blobs actually have a listener that listens for, out for a virtual MIDI port. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to go into loop MIDI here. You're going to create a new port. Um, I have multiple ones here now. I'm going to get rid of that. Essentially, you're just going to click on this plus button, uh, and you're going to add a port. You can name whatever you want before you click add. Um, I named mine bro just because. Uh, next, you're going to go into... FL Studio or whatever else uh, application that you're using um, and you're gonna go over to options MIDI settings and then in here you're going to uh, select whatever port you made in this case uh, mine mine's named bra and you're gonna set to port 0 don't worry about input that's just if you're doing it in the reverse um, but since we're doing output we want to output the MIDI to uh, the blobs. Next you can select a song. Uh, it can be whatever you want. I'm going to select the Earth God's lyric. And then just have the same settings as me. And then here you can see there's two different tracks. Um, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the electric bass doesn't play because I only want the acoustic, acoustic guitar for this song. Um, the only reason is is because sometimes the um, the blobs can get confused depending on what you have set. Uh, if you have too many tracks set on the same port, uh, then there's going to be too many notes playing at the same time for a specific blob in like a certain range, um, and that blob won't be able to sing both of them at the same time. So next, you can just click play. And then here, they're, they're singing it. They'll keep repeating as long as your software loops. I hope this video was informative so you can all make your own blob opera creations. Thank you for watching.